Hi guys. Misty, Hi everybody. Misty and Sherry here with Queen Bee's Vintage. Welcome to or welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how we transform two trash to treasure pieces. We are going to be doing a teapot and a chest for you in a Mackenzie Childs inspired style. So let's get into the video. All right, everybody, mom is working on her Mackenzie Childs inspired teapot. As I said in a previous video, we have gone through our shed where we keep a lot of our trash to treasure finds. And this was a teapot we had out there. We picked this during the summer and you probably saw it in one of our haul videos. And so what she has done is she base coated it white and now she is going in and drawing her design onto the teapot by hand. And she's going to do several different designs on this teapot. So as she progresses, I am gonna show you snippets of her drawing the pattern on. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on what she has drawn so far so you guys can take a closer look. And no, I'm not a master painter or drawer. I just have always had <clears throat> a passion for this. I wish I was a master painter and drawer. Drawer. <laughs> Artist. Artist. <laughs> She's um, always been very crafty and artistic, though, and always does a beautiful job on whatever but she I, works But I don't mind hand drawing the pattern on here without using anything because... In Mackenzie's designs, the people that paint do it freehand. They're not perfect, and I don't think it has to be perfect. I want it to be something that you guys are inspired to try. Um, like I said, I'm not a master painter or artist. I've had a few toll painting classes back in the 80s. I loved it. Um, I don't know. I'm left-handed. I do things a little bit different than everybody. I do a lot with my right hand, except for right. And I do that with my left to be a left-hander because as you've seen right here, the handle's in my way. If I was right-handed, it would be super simple. But when I got to this edge, I'd have to switch it around. I just... I could do it upside down and have a better vantage point, but I I don't think that far in advance. <laughs> so I got my first stripe on. Um, this area I think I'm gonna do in polka dot and the bottom in um, the Harlequin design. So like Misty said, she'll keep you abreast of what I'm doing as I go. So as we said in our Mackenzie Childs inspired Christmas haul video, mom and I watched a marathon of Shop HQ and ordered a few pieces and that really inspired mom to incorporate a Mackenzie Childs inspired theme in her dining room and kitchen which already has a lot of black and white plaid and stripes because her decor in those spaces is French country. And so incorporating this is just gonna work out so well with what she already has. And as we also mentioned in that video, our dear friend Liz over at Traditions by the Season has made some amazing McKinsey Childs inspired topiaries. And she is going to be doing a Mackenzie Childs inspired family room for Christmas. So if you aren't already a subscriber or follower of Liz, please go check her out. Her, all of her videos are absolutely amazing. She is the queen of decorating as far as I'm concerned. So I'm gonna let mom keep working and I will come on and show you guys the progress as she goes. It looks like she's already starting to draw where she wants to put the polka dots onto the teapot. So I will come back in a few minutes and show you where she's at. Okay guys, this is our friend Liz's page, Traditions by the Seasons. This is what it'll look like when you do a search for her. 
please go in and hit that subscribe button. She is absolutely amazing. You won't be sorry. Okay, I've moved on to the Harlequin. I've got it almost halfway, halfway around the first ring. And when I start painting, we will start that process. It's looking good. Okay, I've completed my pattern. Hopefully I can paint it now. You will. And I'm gonna start on the lid. I'm gonna do a little geometric kind of um, check on the lid, I believe. So as soon as I get it started, Misty will film. Okay, I went around and I eyed up, and I don't know how accurate, but I lined up little dots, as you can see, all the way around here. And to me, they look sort of evenly spaced. And then I'm gonna come out in a wide V on each one, and then I'll complete my checked pattern inside this V. My pattern, it's a little wonky. I've got my V, original V. Then I went around and started checking. I drew circles first, actually. Then I checked. And my thought process is gonna be black, white, black, white, black, white, gold and then repeat the pattern. And then this little knob may be changed out, but I may keep it and just paint it gold. It's gonna be very cute. We'll come back and show you once she starts getting some paint on these. And now I'm painting in my checks. A little shaky, I've had some caffeine this morning. As you know, hers aren't perfect, but as you can see, my pattern has started already. I'm going to clean the edges of this up and keep going. Okay, I've completed my lid. I may do one more coat of gold on the round, the gold ring. It's kind of like a Monet. Good from afar, but far from good. <laughs> I think it looks awesome. I'm starting my stripes on the tea kettle. I'm just taking the brush right down the stripe. And I'll start doing this process and we'll keep you posted. I've added some gold to the inside creases and as I've gotten older, my liner work is a little bit messy, but that's okay. I'm going to dot now the tea kettle. I'm dipping the end of my brush in, and this is one of the tricks we learned in toll painting. That one didn't go so well. Let me do it again. And I'm gonna go around the pot with my dots, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm moving right along. I'm getting to the um, diamond section. It's a little bit hard. I haven't picked up a paintbrush in years other than just to paint rabbits or something like that. This is a little more tedious. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. And I know there's probably a one-stroke method to this, but these old eyes and hands can't do the one-stroke method. I'm going like this first. Then I'm flipping it around. And coming back this way. And completing the strokes. So I'm gonna continue on. This is a little time consuming and tedious. And I will straighten up my edges with a liner brush. Or not, maybe. So, skipping one, doing one, so I don't run my hand in the wet paint. And I'll finish this up and come back and show you the end result.
I showed you a picture of the before of our trunk. And now I have it base coated with the black paint and I am going to start putting the design onto this. And as we mentioned, it is going to have a McKenzie Childs inspired look as well. Since I'm showing how mom is drawing the pattern onto the teapot, I won't be doing it for the trunk. I'm going to go ahead and get it going and I will show you as I progress through each stage of my design and then we'll show you the finished product. So here's a little sneak peek of what I've got going on on the chest. My hands definitely aren't as steady as my mom, so I'm gonna have some touch up I need to go in and do to tidy it up, but this is how it's coming so far. I'll show you the sides. And this is the side. So I'm gonna keep going, get it cleaned up, and we'll show you how it looks when it's done. Okay, friends, we have finished our projects. Mom got the little teapot finished and I finished the little chest. I'm gonna give you guys a close up of how they look. We're really happy with how everything turned out. Mom did an amazing job painting this teapot. I love it so much. She ended up doing the spout black with the gold polka dots and that ties in with how she ended up doing the handle. It just looks so good. This little squash pot she ended up finding when we were out and about the other day. And look at this little guy, isn't he just so cute? Mom just added a little Harlequin bow Onto him, he is a canister. And then this is how the chest looks. So it's got the checkered pattern on the bottom. And I did a Harlequin pattern in the center here, but I kind of elongated it. And we've got some bigger checks up on the top of the lid here. And then I did kind of an argyle pattern on the top. And I'm gonna turn it and show you guys the sides. And I did some stripes on the side with some more check print on the top of the, or the side of the lid. And then let me show you guys the back. And this is the back. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun creating these McKenzie Childs inspired items. And we will be back with some more DIYs in a day or two. So thank you guys so much for joining us. And we will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye everybody. I'm gonna give you guys an overall look of our little vignette. We have our really fun McKinsey Childs inspired dress form. That was in a tutorial a couple days ago, so if you missed that, it'll be linked in the description box below.